Hey guys, Edoc here, giving you my review of the LEGO Technic 24 hour race car. Let's start this review by doing a tour of the box. This box is one of LEGO's larger boxes. And on the front of the box you can see a picture of the set completed. And then in the top left corner you can see the LEGO logo the 8 range which is 11 to 16 and the set number which is 42039 also there's the lego technic logo in the bottom left there is another logo which is the two models in one logo which means this has a b model in the other corner it gives dimensions this set is 48 centimeters long, 21 centimeters wide. If I flip the box around, we can take a look at the back. On the back of the box, it shows all the functions as well as another Lego logo, another set logo. So you've got suspension opening doors, moving engine pistons, and an opening rear engine cover. Also down here, it shows the B model, which is an SUV like racer. And also tells you how to get instructions by going online. Also here is a part where it tells you that if you buy this set, and the power function set, you can add motorised functions. I'll show you that later. The size of the box are typical. You've got the Lego logo, the set number, Technic logo, a picture of the set completed, and a little like stamp talking about the Lego club. On the top it is the same, apart from the fact it's got a one-to-one -one scale image of one of the wheels. Just to show, here is one of the wheels, and as it says, it is one-to-one -one scale. It's the same along this side as the other end, and on the bottom you've got the Lego logo, the set number, the Technic logo, and then information about it's got small parts, it's a choking hazard, it's made in Denmark, the 0-3 Sad Onions logo, the barcode, and the CE label. Here's the set itself. So the main colours are white and the newer bright green. This is different from the standard green that we've seen before. For comparison, here's the standard green bit against the new bright green bit. Here are some of the set's functions and how the functions work. The first function is a kind of an opening bonnet bit. We'll see the reason for this later. You have wing mirrors. Now the doors and the like engine cover are operated by a small gear lever, which is just here. If you flick it towards this side of the car and then twist the small gear on the other side, the engine cover will start to open. If you flick this little gear lever the other way and then twist the small gear, the doors open. 
XI system where the axle isn't straight. It goes up, across, up, across, up, across, up, across, until the other end. So if one piece is pulled out, the other one is pushed in. depends on the route you want, which function you want to run. Let's say we want to open up the rear engine cover. So you see the gear is pushed that way, so that when you spin this, it spins the red gear, which spins this gear, which then sends it up along that shelf into the piece here. So if I spin this now, you can see the whole mechanism works. Then it goes along here and into a segment here, which I'll now show you. So, so if you follow that shaft along again, here, it goes into a worm gear just here, which is like a corkscrew, which then turns this gear. That then goes along and into this shape. And this shape piece is the bit that moves when you open and close it. Now, if we wanted to run the other function, which is the doors, you'd have to switch this gear box back onto the other side which I'm going to do from this way. That then will when you turn the gear it will then turn this red gear which will turn this gear which will then turn this gear. It then turns this little tan gear which is connected to this black gear. That then runs a worm gear which is like the corkscrew then goes on to the other side. Once on the other side, there's a small uh, gear which connects up to a mechanism which you can see pushes a piece forwards. Once it's pushed the piece forwards or backwards, it turns these four tooth gears. Now, let me show you what that front bonnet piece does. When you open this, there is enough space to put in a power function battery box. And there are instructions that can that tell you how to mount it securely but it does fit quite well without being secure
that backdrop that wires through to a set of lights which sit behind these lights and light them up. Or you can wire it through and, and you could wire the lights up. Or you could use this motor and you hook the motor into these slots here. That would then power up for these ones here. We should then a gear that's included with the pack with the motor and the battery box would connect onto here. That would then turn these gears and it would go around the system as before. This car has very good suspension, which is good enough for if it is dropped onto its wheels for about a height of 5 to 10 centimetres. But after a couple of drops, pieces will start to become loose. Thanks for watching this video. Why not check out my last video? Also, why not get subscribed and follow me?